G'day folks, so this is just a backup to our previous video, just, we were just giving our initial thoughts on the movie, so a lot of stuff probably skipped our mind, uh, so just a reminder of some of the things that we remembered uh, after reflecting on, uh, on the show a little bit longer. So one thing that stood out to me is of the obvious symbolism, I mean it was smash you in the head with an anvil style symbolism, it was so obvious was John walked up the steps and Daenerys had just gotten off Drogon, and his wings were like uh, up in the air and she was perfectly lined up so they were the wings looked like they were coming out of her so she's the dragon queen Ooh. how subtle <laughs> yeah she's become the uh the dragon obviously that did look pretty good yeah it did look good but it was it was very like it was very obvious uh what they were trying to say uh but still looked good um what was another thing i thought of is yeah, there are a lot of loose ends that they sort of, I, I feel like they did on purpose just for potential spin-offs, like mm -hmm. Arya sailing the seven seas or however many seas are on their planet, uh, unless it is Earth all along. <laughs> and I'll bring that up every video, but I want that, I wanted that Planet of the Apes style ending, damn it, and I didn't get it. Oh, well, uh, in my imagination, it was Earth all along. There was also Jon Snow going north. Oh yeah, Jon Snow going north, yeah. That that's where he feels most at home. Yes. So will he run off to the north? And, ah, north of the wall. And do what? Well, he did go north of the wall with no, Tormund and, and those mission, people. But will he stay there? Yeah, well, I thought he was going to encounter like a Daenerys maybe yes. up there, a frozen dead Daenerys, and then her eyes pop open and they're blue. Oh, she's been having too much spice melange. Sorry, that's a Dune reference. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling here. I'm <laughs> rambling here, folks. Uh, but no, they said that she went east. Uh, well, her dragon took her corpse east. So mm. I guess maybe that nothing will happen there. But I, maybe, again, like I said earlier, a spin-off of just like a comedy sitcom of uh, Tyrion and Bronn and, and, and uh, Sam well, not wise, well, and, <laughs> <laughs> and Brienne and, and Davos, all just like, you know... Uh, yeah, bantering and trying to get one up on each other in a little, uh, you know, power plays. There's still time for Tyrion to die in a brothel. Oh, yeah, well, well, yeah. yeah. Which also reminds me, yeah. I always said that um, I'd stop watching it the day that they killed Tyrion. And they never did. And they never did. So you have to keep watching. Yes. If they make That's more shows. <laughs> Yeah. And <laughs> That's I, a shame. I wish they'd killed him off a few seasons ago. And he, anyway. <laughs> here's a random thought I had as well. They said John has to be, uh, uh, what they say, exiled to, you know, the, the Castle Black there, and he can never return. But it's not like they have security cameras there. So like once they drop him off, what he waits waits a week or so, and then just hightails it to Winterfell, and he can live there till his heart's content. It's not like Grey Worm's going to come and check on him every now and then, or you know, review the security footage. It's you know, well, what yeah, was to stop him just he, doing that? He was going to Narth, so how would he even know? Exactly. So why does Jon have to even stay there? As soon as Grey Worm's gone, and all his forces are leaving, no one else really had a beef with Jon killing Daenerys, except maybe Yara, because she had eyes for the Dragon Queen's, you know, you know what? <laughs> Apart from her, no one else gave a shit that Jon killed Daenerys. I'm probably thankful. And, and everyone in the North likes Jon. So also stop, you know, as soon as, yeah, 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 I'll stay here at Castle Black, sure thing. All right, they're in Narth now. Okay, yeah, uh, all right, here I come, Winterfell. You know, what was to stop that happening? Anyway, that's neither here nor there because John left Castle Black and went north with old, old uh, Tormund, Tormund the Red. The titty, giant titty sucking... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I didn't know where you were going with what you were saying for a second there until it clicked. I'm a bit slow, folks. Yes. Well, I would like to say that I've been thinking about it, and I think the only thing that has ever disappointed me as much as this ending is The Last Jedi. Oh, no. You're toxic. You're a toxic fan. No. You're no. a straight white male. I actually <laughs> loved The Force Awakens. Yes. Like, I couldn't stop talking about it for a couple of weeks, at least. I I thought that they had set it up. It was so interesting. I was so excited for um, Kylo Ren's potential. Oh, he had the potential to be this horrific animal. 
and it, it was just set up to be an amazing series and the last jedi just shat on all of it and turned him into this little nothing character mm. Well, they, they kind of ruined his mystique in The Force Awakens. He took his helmet off and, you know, his oh, luscious yeah. mane of Pantene, you know, beautiful shampooed hair came flowing out. No, well, I actually <laughs> liked that moment. But... Oh, yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> uh, no, I liked that he he was good deep down, but he was trying to be evil. And mm. I, I thought that that was interesting. I'd never seen that before. Yeah, just, just, just oh. remember this is a Game of Thrones video. Sorry, sorry. Because <laughs> I've got a lot to say about... Force yeah. Awakens and Last yeah, Jedi, we do but we'll save that for another video. On all of that, but yeah. it was just this was right up there with that disappointment. Yeah, the Last Jedi. Yeah, I would say same with me. Um, the the only thing is with Force Awakens and Last Jedi, I liked them initially until I thought about them. This ending, I knew from as I was watching oh, it yeah. that I wasn't really loving it. So that was me with the Last Jedi. As I was watching it, I'm like, yeah. oh, what am I doing here? I, I, uh, well, see, yeah, see, she's she's smarter than me, folks. Like, uh, I have to, a lot of times I have to come to these realisations over time, but uh, it just clicks to this lovely lady here immediately. Although with me, even this show and my slowness wasn't, uh, um, you know, I got it straight away how bad this was. I didn't have to think about it or mull it over. <laughs> All right, well, I just want to leave you with one final amazing, incredible thought, and I hope you're ready for this. Right, you get final word, darling. Yes, I do. Um, as I always do. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what she thinks. Good on <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course. Uh -huh. Go for it. Well, I have worked out the actual words to the Game of Thrones theme, and, and I hope you're ready for this. Okay. All right. That was a shitty end to Game of Thrones. Dun, 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 <laughs> I think that's actually spot on. Yeah. And it was actually sung in Valerian, and she just uh, Google translated it, and that's yeah. the actual lyrics. I mean, yeah, high Valerian as well, mind you. Facts. Hashtag facts. Yeah. Uh, indeed. Yes. All right. Well, <laughs> I think wow. that I think that's pretty much our. The last of our thoughts for now. I'm sure we'll have more to say as we think about this and, you know, let it brew and stew over in our minds a little bit longer. But uh, for now, that's it uh, on the final episode of Game of Thrones Season 8 and the disappointment overall that it was. Yeah. Any Anything else? No, look, but look out for our um, Last Jedi disappointing... Our disappointing... Last Jedi, yeah. Video. It's only two years. Only two years too late, but that's oh, all right. Yeah. No, only no. been on YouTube since February, so you know, cut us some slack here, folks. The hurt is still there. Yeah. Still there. Yes, it is. We'll we'll have a lot to say about that, but we'll we'll save that for another time. Yeah. All right. That's all we have to say about this uh, Game of Thrones last episode. So please, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave comments, positive, negative, whatever, if you are so inclined. God bless you all. And we'll see you later. <laughs>